Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy once again, Ryan Dins, and we're going to talk about Cosmos, ticker Sybil Adam, and it has been on a tear lately. It's up 13% in the last seven days. Um, it is a little bit calming down right now, as you can see, uh, coming off that 37, but we're just going to get into why that this could be a huge thing for the future. Now, it's already in the NASDAQ news right now. We're talking about it on this website, and um Everything else has been selling off, as you can see from here. So let's just go back to this real quick. You can see that everything's selling off. And, uh, you know, this down 5%, 7%. Like, it's been a pretty bad week for most cryptos, especially Solana. By the way, it's a good time to buy Solana. I've been buying Solana. Solana, I think, is going to be like $1,000 in a year or so. So that's besides the point. We're going to talk about... Um, I'm not talking about that right now. But if you look at volume, there's been a lot of volume in the last 24 hours. A lot of people are looking at Cosmos. Boom. Look at that. Heavy volume. That's a billion dollars in 24 hours. So anyway, Adam Token is a notable exception. It's gained roughly 9.4% over the last week. That's not true. It's 13%. Um, so Cosmos token has now surged roughly 400% across the last year of trading. It provides services that help to bridge the data between separate blockchains, which could prove very valuable and help drive pricing increases for its token as the cryptocurrency and blockchain services markets continue to evolve. New blockchain and cryptocurrency projects seem to pop up every day, but most of these ecosystems are soiled off from other networks. So that's just big. Um, there's a lot of real world uses here, and we're just going to look at the chart right here. Now, this is going to be some resistance right here that if we can break through, it's going to absolutely pump. We can go a little further in the four hour. So, you know, it needs to get past this to really explode. And um, it could. It's within the Bollinger Bands right now. Um, I did sell a little bit right here. I do trade a lot. So um, what I tend to do, we'll save this for another video, but um, I'll just show you what I do real quick. Like when I see it hit the top of the Bollinger Bands, I'll sell. When I see it here, I'll buy. And it's pretty easy to see what is going on with the um, with the Bollinger Bands because you want to buy at the bottom. Like right here would be a clear buy. You see that right here? You're going to want to buy every time. And it always comes into play. Uh, there's other things you could use like the RSI, the stochastic. But um, I just think that right now, I would wait for it to dip a little bit before you buy, but right around like 33 might be a good time to buy this. Uh, you know, it's, it's for long-term, I, I see this a price target of a hundred dollars uh, by the end of 2022. So you're going to see a three X as long as we stay in a bull market, it's very uncertain what's going on right now. We'll take a look at Bitcoin and see what's going on with that. Um, you know, Bitcoin, it's, it's kind of in this little wedge pattern. It might continue to do that. And we just need it to get past here and then watch it fly to a hundred thousand. But that is, it's been, it's been rough. I mean, this is incredibly volatile. I wish it wasn't so volatile because there's a lot of haters about crypto and that's their complaint is like, you know, Oh, well, who wants to buy Bitcoin when it can go from 70,000 to 30,000 in a couple of weeks. And, that's a very valid point, but I think that'll stabilize as time goes on and it becomes a more respected store of value. It's already happening with hedge funds buying it. The government already understands what this is, and they're not being such jerks like they were in the beginning where you had to worry about Bitcoin being banned. That's not going to happen. We're not communist China. We got to see what's going on um, with this for the long run, but I'm very bullish. I think now is a great time to buy Bitcoin or Ethereum or any crypto for that matter, um, but I wouldn't recommend highly risky unless you know how to trade unless you really know what you're doing there's a lot of really risky ones right now unless you know something um it's not i just think you want to hedge your risk until we see bitcoin stabilize a little bit so that's kind of where i'm at right now um i would say that adam at this exact moment is a buy uh so but like I said, just wait to wait for it to cool off a little bit. But long term, this is a great project. This is going to change a lot of things in the crypto space. So I recommend that you continue to look at this. This isn't investment advice, just my opinion, but I do hold some, just full disclosure. 
So that is all I have to say about that. And make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because we're going to pop off in 2022 and it's going to be big things coming, baby. Woo!